We have from France the very latest varieties, both for gardens and under glass. For example, Picker, and we've got a picker who with us right here who's just performed, Jerry Jeff Walker. And we're going to be talking to him a little bit about some of the songs he's done and some of the things he's been doing. A lot of your songs, since they come just straight from your heart, you, you really just get into them when you're on stage. You're so energetic when you get there. You're jumping around and you're, you're tapping your feet. And mm -hmm. you're, you're so into them. You live them while you're doing them. I guess you re-remember it when mm -hmm. you're yeah. singing them. Yeah. You really remember the, the thing you're writing about, and you probably remember the time you were writing it. I put funny things in the song to amuse myself, and it's fun to come to those again in the song. And so that sort of thing goes on. And then I get to remember places where I've played them, where they were really kind of special, maybe a, a show somewhere or, or to some place or with a special group of people, and that, I can kind of remember those times too. There's a lot of remembering going on. It's really... Uh, well, I play a long show, like two or three hours. I'm usually pretty tired mentally and mm -hmm. physically, too. You like to keep yourself up physically, don't you? I've been trying to. You know, for a long time, it just comes natural. And then I, I think after about 35, you start turning this corner where it's, uh, you have to do something physically. You have to work out a little bit. You need to run, swim, bicycle, dance, whatever you do to keep that energy up so that you, you know. Slow down the aging process. Well, yeah, just kind of break even with it because mm -hmm. you can stove up real good, you know. You jog and I don't know what all to keep your energy going. I mean, how do you expend all that energy? You just well, get you more. get a return from it, actually. Mm -hmm. It's the opposite. People think you'd, if you go out and take a five-mile run that you'd be tired, mm -hmm. but you actually, you got more energy because everything is opened up, the heart beating, the oxygen's exchanging, and, and uh, you feel good. Yeah, you seem to be really up after performance because I guess you Well, that's you the same thing. It usually happens when you're performing. You notice that, but then that's just an extra bonus. And I've started swimming more in Barton Springs and, and uh, got me one of these kind of stump jumper bikes. You know, they're like your old bikes where they're kind mm -hmm. of big fat tires, with, um, but they only weigh about, you know. So couple, if you fall over, they hurt you. Well, they're like the 10 speeds as far mm -hmm. as what they weigh, but they're more like our old bikes. You can go up dirt trails. And I like to go back in where all this. Since they're tearing up uh, Austin all over the place with these new roads going in, I just ride up in there to see what it looks like before they leave. Uh -huh. yeah, before they made something out of it.
bird that like to sing his old lone star bear. Sitting down a while, the turkey bourbon liquor. Even on the power to fly that old GMC pickup truck. With a need to ride a rival wagon, I'd rather step and snide smoke it up for sticker. If I had kids seven or eight years ago, they could have watched me sleep, you know, when I was off tour or something. And now I'm kind of active with them, so kind of, that's what I'm doing now. And I, I imagine Austin is really the place for you to be. They have the same kind of atmosphere there. That's even, but even Austin now is getting tamer. Everybody I know is either selling real estate or, because oh. uh, the boom is coming. It was, it was a lot more fun and loose, but it's still, it still has good points, but it's changing fast. It's starting to be spoiled like everything else. Then, then you have to move on. You seem to have fought that yourself, though. Within yourself, you seem to have fought the big people that wanted to change you. And Well, I know the rules. I know what you, you do. Yeah, you do certain things to, uh, i.e., make it or couldn't do it. I've just kind of done whatever I wanted to do. And I'm not trying not to do something. I'm just trying to make what I do. I think that's the happiest picker you can be is when what you like to do, you can be paid for doing that. And people will come knowing what you do and, and everything kind of works out that way. You're not having to do something you thought they might want to hear. And they come because they thought they liked what you did. And you're both in this room kind of, you don't really want to play it. They're not really sure, you know, kind of. Most
do. I know that, but I don't know that.
Production costs for Austin Pickers were provided in part through grants from the Loden Shoot of Temple and Mike Kilpatrick Pontiac Buick of Killeen.